Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with SQL Server reporting services. Our viewer is looking to convert SSRS reports from the 2016 schema to the 2008 R2 schema. They want to know if this is possible and if Microsoft offers any tools to help with this process. Let's dive into the details and see how we can assist. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To convert SSRS reports from the 2016 schema to the 2008 R2 schema, we first need to understand the differences between these versions. Unfortunately, Microsoft does not provide a direct tool for this conversion. However, you can achieve this conversion by manually editing the RDL files or by using a custom script. The RDL files are XML-based, so we can manipulate them programmatically. If you choose to write a script, you can use a language like c -sharp or PowerShell. The script should read the RDL file, modify the schema version, and save the changes. Here's a simple example in C-sharp. You would load the RDL file, change the version in the XML, and then save it back. This can be automated as part of your build process. In summary, while there is no official Microsoft tool for converting SSRS report schemas, you can manually edit the RDL files or create a custom script to automate the process. This approach allows you to integrate the conversion into your build pipeline. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To convert SRS report RDL schema from 2016 to 2008 using Visual Studio 2017, start by right-clicking on your project and selecting Properties. Next, change the target server version to SQL Server 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, or 2014, and click OK. Finally, after designing your report, right-click on the RDL or project and select Build. This is crucial for generating the RDL file. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.